Hello again everyone and welcome once again to my dark laboratory where we perform some really weird doom experiments. Today I want to do something a bit more casual, you, you know, something quick and easy. So what we're going to do is some pinky liberation. Yeah, what's pinky liberation? Does it have something to do with the fact that poor pinkies have been exploited and mistreated by the other demons for millennia? Well, no, not really. It's just a little trick that I accidentally discovered as a kid and I enjoyed it so much that I started doing it on purpose and over time I kinda improved on it. And I know some other people know this trick as well. I've seen people mentioning it in the comments and I promised I would dedicate an episode to it. So here it is. So let me just get rid of this and jump into DOSBox. So the pinkies we're going to liberate are located in a location we've visited so many times before. E1 M8. More specifically, we will liberate the pinkies inside the building and make them go outside in the big yard. Sounds impossible? It isn't. You see, it's actually pretty easy once you learn how to do this trick. And why do it? Well, first of all, because it's kind of fun. And second, uh, when I was a kid, I often felt that this big yard outside feels kind of lonely and I thought is there a way I could give it some friends <laughs> and this was one way I did it so let me get back to E1M8 so what you need to do is quickly run into the corridor without shooting so that the pinkies can survive and follow you quickly quickly Okay, this didn't happen during the test runs. Yeah, sometimes you can get blocked. Thankfully, I have a saved game, so... Come on. Wow, again? Twice? Come on, guys. Ah, finally. And like I said, this didn't happen during the test run. <laughs> of course it had to happen now. Follow me, pinkies. Okay, now so we have to clean up this room. I'm actually going to skip this part and jump directly to when there's just one baron left alive and we're ready to make the walls go down. And here we go. Everyone is dead except that one baron here who is pretty angry at me. So just finish him off and quickly get here in this corner and let's see how many pinkies we'll catch in our little trap come on come on come on Ooh, that's like five of them not bad not bad actually so now let's get down and enjoy our catch of the day i'll just flip the switch real quick you'll see why in a minute and now the big yard is no longer lonely it has friends! Woo. And they seem very happy to see me, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Come on, Pinkies, you're free! Go, run, enjoy life! Well, unfortunately, these Pinkies seem a little bit too indoctrinated, so they don't want to run away. They're still chasing me. They're pretty hostile. Okay, I need one pinky volunteer, and that's going to be you, my friend. Follow me. Having already liberated some pinkies, we'll take this one step further. Follow me. That's right. Be a good boy. Come to me. And by one step further, I mean... Yes. Here. Come to me. Come to me. Good boy. Now follow me here. And look at that. The pinky has left Phobos. <laughs> well, let's check on the other guys. What are they doing? They don't sound very happy. 
Some of them are actually stuck on the edge. Yeah, that's one of the Doom Engine's peculiarities. They couldn't quite make the transition to the lower area, so now they're stuck here. Well, I guess the only thing to do is to put them out of their misery. Sorry guys. <laughs> Blame the engine for this. And now we can go to the teleporter. What will happen when I walk over it? Am I going to telefag the pinky? Am I going to be blocked? Well, let's find out. Ouch! Ouch! Well, I telefagged the pinky, which isn't very surprising. Because, as far as I know, you can always telefrag monsters, but monsters cannot telefrag you. The only exception being Map 30, the Icon of Sin in Doom 2, which is a special case. And I know some custom map makers use this to their advantage to set up traps where you can get telefragged. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fun little distraction. Ooh. I should mention a big, big thank you to all the people who commented under the previous videos. Honestly, I didn't expect to get so many reactions. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And I hope to see more of you in the future. For now, goodbye.